What's up everyone, it's Eddie the Chosen One, back here with another fitness video. Now today I'm going to tell you all how to see faster fitness results with these 10 ways right here. I'm trying to help you all because I know some of you may be a beginner or maybe you may be trying something new and you just aren't seeing the results. And I know a lot of people come to me and they say, I want to work out, but it just takes too long to see the results. It's not, is it really worth it? I know you've asked yourself that question before too. So today I'm talking I'm going to tell y'all 10 ways to make your fitness results come faster, to see faster results with these 10 ways. Just try one of these things and I guarantee you you will see faster fitness results. So let's get into it. Alright everyone, number one, stop caring so much. Now when I say that, I don't mean don't care about what you do anymore. Just slug it, just slick it off your shoulders just groove through it not caring what i mean is stop caring about the results and just do it you have to act you have to just do it just act upon those things that you want to see the results for act just stop caring about the results stop caring because i'm in the gym all the time and even i care about the results and i see guys that have on a hoodie and they're working harder harder than me because they don't care about the results they simply love the journey the journey is better than the reward because once you get the reward it's like well i earned this i worked for this now what now i'm trying to get a second reward the next reward here comes another journey a reward doesn't come without a journey so number one stop caring so much and that's why people they they tend to mess up and want to stop working out because they don't because they don't see the results because they care so much about the results you have to truly be in it for the journey for the grind and if you and if you aren't and you aren't that serious you know maybe you don't care enough about um seeing faster results or being uh, more fit and in better shape what you have to do is stop caring so much about the results and enjoy the journey enjoy the process make sure you have a story to tell once you get the result that's number one and to me that's very important because i feel like if you care so much you can get distracted and then your actions are so they're they're so they're adjusted and they're picked at every single action instead of just doing just do just act just go get the life you want go get the body you want that's what you have to do stop caring so much it's number one all right number two number two this is very important <laughs> usually when people start working out and they start to um you know get into fitness and health they want to they, they feel like they should just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I'm in all grind mode. I'm work mode. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to nobody. I'm work mode. Number two, take rest. Take breaks. That is how you see faster results. I'm going to explain this just in case someone here doesn't know. Okay, so the growth of a muscle, um, hypertrophy, right? You, you're, you're essentially tearing down the, the muscle tissue. You're tearing it down. You're tearing this bicep down right here. And you have to rest. And part of that is sleep and the nutrition and whatever you eat. But take breaks. I mean, if you've been training for five months straight, right? Five days a week, every month, right? I mean, um, five days a week, every week for five months straight. One, two, three, four, five months. All those months, right? Take a one to two week break and watch how much better your joints feel, your tissues heal faster watch how much better you get and if you keep eating right and that's going to come on later in the video you will see faster progress because I, I i i've seen times where i've trained really hard i've trained really hard i take like a three to four day break just doing whatever my abs are ripped from the last ab workout last week i ain't even been training it's just those results come faster when you're allowing them to come you can't keep forcing grinding grinding digging in the hole you you you're you're you being there always grinding you're essentially blocking the results you're blocking them okay you can't do that have to take rest have to take breaks let your body heal if you keep if you keep tearing keep tearing it has to be um wear and tear you have to use it repair use it repair you can't use it use it use it use it and no repair all right so that wear and tear is going to catch up to you to slow your results down so i'm telling you that's number two right here take breaks take rest trust me now number three number three i know a lot of people may have trouble with because even i i still have trouble with it all right but number three you have to train even when you don't want to those are the days that count those are the days 
that that are going to hit you hard but that is where the results are going to come if you have a schedule right which again later on come in the video if you have a schedule right and you're following that schedule and then this one day you're like ah that's what they got today i'm back to number two i said take rest take breaks but don't interrupt your schedule if if, if if I say today, right now, I'm going to work out tomorrow, and tomorrow, I'm in a bed. Ah, I just feel like watching TV all day. No. Slowing, they're slowing my results down. They're slowing my results down. And you don't know it because you're doing it unconsciously. You're not aware of it. Once you gain that awareness, which I'm trying to get y'all to gain with fitness, once you gain that awareness, you realize that you cannot do that. You have to train even when you don't want to. And those results will come faster. Why? Because you're getting it in. Any workout is better than no workout, all right? A bad workout is better than no workout. Uh, 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 oh, I wasn't feeling my stuff today. I wasn't as strong today, but you still lift it, you know? Oh, my stomach got a little bad from the party we had last night. I ate a little bit too too much, and I got my stomach feeling heavy, but I still got this running. That's You always have to say, but we still got it, but we still did it train even when you don't want to those are the days that count trust me again just take one thing from this and i guarantee you you're going to see faster results i'm telling you so let's keep on moving all right guys number four is something i think that is really really important you know i say a lot of um professional stuff or eat healthy train consistent train hard but overall number four have fun with it because if you're not having fun you you're not gonna want to do it let's be real we're humans we don't entertain stuff that we're, that we're not attracted to or things that's not entertaining to us or fun to us let's be real we see it all all the time when, with little kids a, a, a little kid was straight was straight ignore you if you're not funny they'll see something on tv they ain't gonna watch it unless it's entertaining <laughs> you know abc mouse it's fun but it's helping them it's fun but it's helping them so have fun with fitness have fun with it. You have to enjoy it. Because a lot of people, again, this is from personal experience. A lot of people come to me and they say these things. And they say, um, I, I want to lose the weight, but I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to work out because it's not fun. So make it fun. Fun workouts. You can have fun workouts. There's so many ways you can have fun. Socialize. Work out together. Grab a friend. Grab a family member. Go in there and work out together. And again, this is me personally. Every time I train with somebody, you think we have a strict workout? No. We're laughing, goofing off. I'm going to be real. 75% of the workout is goofing. 25% of it is actually working out. <laughs> but that's the, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of health and fitness and getting one with your soul and getting in better shape, getting healthy, having fun with it, eating something good after it, some good nutrition. Have fun with it. And I guarantee you, you're going to get so lost in that fun, so, so lost in the moment that your results will come faster. All right, now number five is a big one. Number five is a real big one because this is something I struggle with also. Um, listen to yourself, listen to your body, and stay motivated. And um, as opposed to that, what I really want to say is don't listen to the naysayers because when you start off, people are going to say, why are you doing that? Why are you eating that way? The, they try to pull it on me. Now, look at me now. They, I, we all going to We all gonna shine together eventually. We all, They can't stop us. We all going to shine together. If, if you're watching this, you're going to get better eventually. They try to stop you. They're asking you um, why you investing in a trainer because it's an investment. Do you know the definition of an investment? It's, it's, it's not spending. There's a difference between spending and investing. Investing is productive and beneficial. They don't understand that. And they'll say things like, oh, um, you shouldn't do that. Um, you'll never get that body. Uh, you think you all that. You think you all that. And, and they don't know that you're still working for it. So listen to yourself. Stay motivated. Motivate yourself. Listen to yourself. Don't let these people bring you down and bring your motivation down, you know? So listen to yourself. Most of all, listen to your body. And, um, you know, just really pay attention and be aware again. Back to what I said, I'm trying to help you gain awareness with fitness. So listen to yourself and stay motivated. All right. Now, number six, I hate to be this way, but I'm going to get straight to it. Eat right. You cannot outwork a bad diet. Everyone's saying they're not getting the body they want. I was this way when I was younger, a, a, a year and a half ago. I wanted the ripped abs, I, I, I wanted the eight pack and the shoulders and the chest and the legs, but my nutrition wasn't saying that. I was saying that a lot. I was picking that out there. 
but I wasn't putting it back in. I wasn't eating right that. I wasn't acting upon the things I was saying. That's what I said early on in the video. Act. Dude, stop caring so much. And so what I did was I stopped caring about what tastes good. You, you, you got to stop caring about your emotions and your feelings. You got to stop caring about what tastes good. You got to do do what's, what's going to help you obtain your goal in the end. Eat right. Get that nutrition right. You cannot outwork a bad diet. And again, eat for the kind of training you're doing. You know, find those. Find that knowledge. Gain that knowledge. Gain that research of that. I have to gain that knowledge and that research, right? So make sure you guys are eating right. And, and, and matter of fact, this is probably the only thing you need to take from this video. This is the number one thing you need to take from this video. Eat right. And what I mean by eating clean is essentially not eating junk food, right? You don't have to eat freaking whole chicken and vegetables every day. <laughs> no. I mean, enjoy, but you guys know what I mean by eat clean, eat right. The stuff that's holding you back, the, the, the stuff that you see the obese people eating, the, the, the stuff that you know you shouldn't eat, but you still do it. You guys know it's holding you back. Stop it. Eat right. So that's a big factor. Again, that's probably the only thing most important. The number one thing you need to take from this video is to eat right. Trust me. I guarantee you that will help you see faster results when it comes to fitness and working out. All right, number seven is a special one because I do this all the time. Number seven, straight to it. Try new things, all right? You would not, you would get bored doing the same workouts. Try new workouts. And this is kind of all in one. Have fun. Listen to yourself, your body. If, if your body is saying, I cannot do this workout anymore because I, 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 I already know how it's going to feel. It's not giving me enough results. Um, I'm, I'm used to this. I need something different. Or either we're going to tear this muscle and we're going to stretch it out and we're going to strain it. Listen to your body. Try new things. All right. And that's another thing you should take from this video. All right. Um, results are honestly come from, let's be real, the amount of work you do. If, if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, you're going to see over and over and over results. The same results. If you're switching it up, trying new things, it's like, ooh, a new muscle. Ooh. I know um, this was a part of the body right here. Ooh, my love hunters are gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, try new things and new results will come, guarantee you. So let's keep it moving. Number eight is a big one. Again, I hate to be this way, but have a goal. Be strict, be disciplined. People don't see results because they don't know what results they want to see. They don't have a goal. They're just hitting the gym and, and looking for a difference. You have to be specific have a goal and this is pretty short and simple man have a goal man attack that goal and again don't care so much about those results just know that it's coming you know the, the, if you're doing the work you should go to sleep at night ready for the results to come just just ready you ain't got to keep worrying about constant the results if you do that means you probably know in the back of your head you're not working as hard as you should be working you got to keep caring keep worrying yourself about it all right so make sure you have a goal go in and ready to go guys Attack it and just be great, man. Let's keep it moving. Number nine, pretty short and simple. If you want to see results, be consistent. Be consistent. Be consistent. Now, I don't mean to do the same thing over and over and over. In a way, that's what consistency is. But consistency is working um, over and over to gain a result. It's not doing the same kind of work. So, again, try new things. But be consistent with that. Be consistent, consistent with believing in yourself. Um, freaking um, having those goals, keep your goals intact, be consistent with your nutrition, all of that, all right? Be consistent. It's pretty short and simple. Now, let's move on to the last and final one, which I just mentioned. Believe in yourself. Manifest it, all right? You have to be in that gym or outside already feeling like the person you want to you be like, the person, the, the kind of body you want to have. You have to look in the mirror flexing and showing off like you already got that body i recommend working out with a mirror so when you're in the gym don't shy away from those mirrors everyone all right really look at the movement you're doing fantasize and again it's going to start off as delusion but fantasize about the body you want and the the, the goal you want to achieve you know talk about it talk about it. i'm gonna have this i'm gonna have that soon this soon i'm trying to get this let it be known and again don't let them hate or shut you down, everyone. All right, now, last and final. This isn't included in. I already said the 10, but go be great, all right? That's all I got for, for y'all today. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe.
My name is AD the Chosen One on Instagram. It's AD Muscle, all lower caps, no space. AD Muscle. All right, so stay safe. I love y'all. Peace out.